Hey guys, it's me, Just Tiffany B, and I'm finally back. You guys, it's been years. <laughs> it has been years. And initially, I took a break because towards the end, I felt myself pumping out videos and I kind of lost the joy for like sitting down and filming and that's the whole reason why I started in the first place so you know I took a step back I wanted to get a breather honestly I've been dying to come back and like every single time that I sat down and filmed something wasn't right something was off and like legit life is not perfect so even today to sit down and do my makeup it's been years since I've done my makeup and like everything that could go wrong went wrong with doing my makeup so yes i'm back there's a whole bunch of updates i don't know even where to start but i thought like a good first video coming back would be you know a haul i've been shopping i've been collecting a lot of things has changed i'm in a new background <laughs> so first things first i got a new apartment <laughs> well it's not it's not new to me it's new to y'all because you know you know it might have been a year since i've been living in my new apartment Whoops. <laughs> um i did film the process and i started uploading video on my vlog channel so if you haven't watched it yet go ahead and check it out you know so you can kind of see the scope there's an empty apartment tour in there i started putting in furniture in here which you know you, you know <laughs> but check out my vlog channel if you want to kind of watch that process as you know me i'm not consistent with anything i uploaded like a couple of videos and i just kind of stopped so i still got like a whole bunch of videos i still need to put up on my vlog channel but yes i'm in a new apartment i finally have my own apartment and that just made me hella happy i don't know how a whole year went by without me filming in here but i'm finally sitting down you know i hopefully i could get back into the groove of things and be more consistent hopefully but yes check out my vlog channel check out my tiktok though because you know i've been trying to throw out videos little mini vlogs here and there you know posts i have two tiktoks you know ones right here which i went mia on so i'm gonna start posting back on there and here is my you know my main tiktok this is where i post more frequently on so yeah check check that out if you want to follow me and comment on one of my videos that you're coming from YouTube because you know that'd be interesting to see who actually goes over to TikTok. Okay, enough talking. Let's jump into the haul. Let's start off with the makeup that I've been using. This is a collective haul. The first thing that really start everything off was Ulta. I got the Esther Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I've been dying to get my hand on this foundation. The gag is, this ain't my shade. <laughs> this is not my shade. And like everything is so hard right now with buying makeup because I can't dig my fingers. I can't test and put it on my neck. I can't, I was just like eyeballing it. I was just like, you know, could this be my shade? Like, I was in the store like, yeah, this is my shade. Let's light. This is not my shade. Okay? This is not my shade. I'm so hella nervous about this because i don't think this is my shade either so i need to find time to like sit down and do my makeup again and try this out because if this wasn't my shade like i was like more hopeful for this i'm really doubting this is my shade we'll see sephora my bag is empty but the receipt <laughs> everything i got from sephora i was planning on using it to get ready and i've used pretty much everything i got the hydro primer i this is my first time trying it out i feel like i'm a fan another thing that i did pick up and all the boxes are over here i picked up a bronzer from fenty beauty the shade i got is thick mint and i don't feel like this is my shade like i wish there was a little bit more redness in this like it's straight dark brown i need a little bit more warmth I don't know i'm gonna get used to it i'm gonna see i picked up practice stars what this the ultimate puff i didn't get to use it because you know still in the packaging next time next time and oh, i didn't pick this up i bought this a long time ago but i never used it but another thing that I picked up was the makeup forever when i say everybody and their mama has been raving about this focus thank you about this matte velvet skin 
blurring foundation. I need to go back to Sephora because of course, like when I'm walking around in there, I see a whole bunch of things I don't want to get, but I need to go back to um, Sephora because Jackie Ina candles, Forever Moon candles. Sorry, I'm too excited. Uh, her candles are finally in store. Out of the blue, my mom was hella sweet and bought me a perfume. This one is the Versace, one of the Versace's. And I, anytime I buy a perfume as of lately, I only buy one perfume at a time. Like I try not to collect them cause I don't want them to sit. I'm starting to have a perfume collection, you guys. But this is something I wouldn't really buy for myself. And, but over time as I'm spraying it, I'm like, hmm. Hmm. It's not fruity. It has a hint of fruit, but it's more warm when you smell it. While we was on the road with buying perfumes, we picked up another one. This is the Ralph Lauren Romance. This isn't fruity, but it's fresh. It's like fresh linen, clean and fresh. Like you jump out the shower, you spray this all over you. Fresh. I'm a fan of this perfume, and I would have thought to bought that perfume if my mom didn't recommend it to me. Another thing, you're gonna start to see the trend of me and her shopping together, which is starting to be a problem from my pockets. But we went shopping, we was in Macy's, and while we were waiting to get checked out, saw this Michael Kors gorgeous perfume sitting to the side. This smells so beautiful. Like I always wanted a Michael Kors perfume, um their signature scent when you first walk into the store i've always been trying to find that scent this is it but it smelled like a hint of caramel in the undertones i'm not a professional i'm just telling you what i smell like it smells like you're walking into michael kors but the undertone of it is like caramelly recently i picked up come on recently i picked up the bombshell beach perfume and it was on sale to like get the matching lotion for you know like i think it was like ten dollars more so yes I got this, have it to the side. While me and my mom were shopping again, bought another perfume. I think I'm gonna give it a break with the buying of perfumes because one thing with me, I'm not a decisive person and I hate to spend money on a perfume. And like halfway through, I realized that I don't really like the scent. Like that Michael Kors perfume, I need to grow into. It smells good, but it's like not fruity. It's not my signature scent, but you know, I'll, I'll grow into it you guys okay okay i know i'm talking a lot and i'm talking fast i'm excited <laughs> um when my mom bought me this versace perfume it came with like three samples in it of their other versace perfumes one of them in there was bright crystal and that's the only one that i love that smell damn like oh this is sweet this is nice i'm gonna buy it so i went back to the store and i was going to go buy bright crystal and i saw this sitting right next to bright crystal and then basically the sale representative was saying that it smells exactly the same as bright crystal crystal but it's just like stronger i'm like oh i like my sense to be strong i want to walk into the room and slap people with my fragrance i'm that person Ooh, ah i like i like and i love the bottle moving on i bought this right as the semi annual sale was finishing so you know this been sitting on my counter for a little minute now but i had to show you guys by the time i made it to bath and body works there is barely anything from the sale left so i just picked up like the six for 24 or something like that with their soaps i picked up the sunrise and mimosa i'm excited to try this i'm excited to like pack all of these things away since i'm finally showing you guys um i got the kitchen don't focus on me. I got the kitchen mandarin. Okay, so I got this soap. Come on, focus. I got this soap, which this is my signature scent from them. I love everything watermelon, lemony. I have the island papaya. And then this was on sale. I got the pink chiffon. I got the, this was on sale as well. This is the cherry. I got cherry lim limonade. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to go fast. My camera's about to die. Okay, I got a, another watermelon lemonade, so I'm actually excited about this. Matter of fact, I know we pressed for time, but my hand's a little ashy right now. I'm telling you, this is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know my elbows, you know. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Anyways, I bought this for my mom. 
because you know she's a nurse or whatever and i saw this in there and it's the cutest thing and you put it on your neck hand sanitizer you could clip it to your scrub you know hand sanitizer i thought it was cute so you know i got that for her which i need to give to her you know oh i got another hand sanitizer for her because there's one already in here I don't know which one it is. I'm not taking it out. But there's another one that I got, which is watermelon lemonade. Can't go wrong with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's it from Bath and Body Works. Home goods. So, as you can tell, I got a king size bed for my room. And I need silk pillowcases in my life. Like, I need it back into my life. It was hard for me to find, like, the king size. Because for some reason, all I could find is standard. This is was for a $7.99. For the silk pillowcases, I got it in gray because I have a sheet. Oh, this is white, my bad. I got it in white, got it in gray. So this should go with most of the sheet sets that I have. Ooh. Another thing that I got from Home Goods, which I'm so excited to set up. I'm gonna try to put it somewhere up in my background the next time I film or whatever. But um this is like a letter board and it's iridescent so you know it's supposed to look something like this it was open right by the um cash register so i really feel like something's missing out of it so we'll, we'll see but it was only 7.99 you know this was like i either grab it right now or i'm just gonna leave it so i just grabbed it another thing that i got i got two of these Ooh, you, you see the setup you, you see this mess you see it okay <laughs> but yeah i got two of these this is a smaller version which was 24.99 i don't know if you can see it the bigger one was 30 dollars. it was 29.99 and it's a lazy susan so really potentially wherever i figure out where i want to put this do you, you you get what i'm saying wait for it wait for it so i'm gonna figure out where i'm gonna put this because I don't really have space, but I'll figure it out. It was cute. I couldn't pass it up. You guys, I've been wanting these shoes from this store for so long. I'm not really a shoe fan. Like, I just wear slippers. Like, you know, I'm very casual. But when I saw this, like, promoting all over Instagram, I'm, I had to buy it. I bought something else from them as well in a different shade. But it's, you know, it's back order. So I'm going to get it in around my birthday. So, so far, I have this one. If you know me, I think you know what I'm about to pull out. And don't judge me about my shoe size, okay? I have big feet. You guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yes. Do you see the way the lights hit this? This is gorgeous. This... Anyways, got this in black. So as of lately, I've been like slapping on wigs and going but for some reason i can't master tinting my lace correctly so you know i went on instagram did a little web searching and i found this company true match and i basically got a lace tint spray hopefully this is supposed to be magical from what i've seen in the videos this is supposed to be magical so i got a shade from my mom which she just slightly darkened at me and then I got a shade for me. So I got bronze and I got dark. I'm not gonna lie, legit, this has been in a box for three months. Three months, I'm not gonna lie, right? Um, this all started that I wanted to buy my mom something really special. I ain't had no money to buy what she really wanted, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, basically, I wanted to get her a Louis Vuitton purse. And when I looked up the price of the style that she showed me, like, in the past, uh, how am I going to buy that? How? Um, so, basically, I took to Instagram, as I do, <laughs> and I saw, like, knockoffs that looked really good on my weight. A minute. As I bought her her purse which was a scary process because this came from china and i thought i was gonna get ripped off but you know everything worked out it took a little minute for it to come but everything worked out and i bought her her bag she has her bag is now wearing it i'll try to remember to put a clip up in here so you could kind of see the style that she got i basically got the same color as her but in a different style so you know this is my bag that i'm trying to get out of this box I am not using this. Ooh, this is just for looks. 
Nope, not wearing it. Hold on, I'm trying to get this back to cooperate. This is the inside of the bag. I need something with hello space because I always rock around with my whole life for some reason. I don't want the whole video to be about this, but oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Smells good too. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is like detailed. I'm a fan. Like inside of here it says Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in France. The little wristlet said it too. I feel like good quality. But yes, I'll try to add the website at the bottom. This is not sponsored at all, but. Or I could put the longer strap on, you know. I saw this sale going on with Key. Okay, it's Key. And I've been dying to get my hands on more of their sunglasses. It's like luxury. It's low key expensive, but it's not like designer expensive and they have really cute styles so when i saw they had this sale it's a perfect time to stack on it up on their sunglasses this is how the box looks high key black fade i'm sorry how can i help you how can i help you i'm sorry you said something no okay Point me to the nearest bank, please. Appreciate it. No, I'm not like that, you guys. I'm just joking. <laughs> but literally, that's how I feel every time I wear the sunglasses. It feels a little crooked on my face. It might be my face, but you know. Oh, I'm excited about these. These are come through. Come through. I'm gonna have to wear this out. I don't know how I feel. I, I love the fade. I'm worried about the shape. Is it for me? Oh, hell yeah, that's for me. What? I can't see. How we like them? Do we like them? This is Heartbreaker. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be an issue. This is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, these are come through. I bought two come throughs, maybe in different colors. These are come through. Ooh, I might put this one in my car. This one's going to the car. This one's a day to day. High key gold. Oh, these are a problem. You know, I need to be sipping a Mai Tai on the beach in these. Okay, these are the high key gold. This is all the sunglasses that I purchased. I bought a sunglasses holder from Amazon. It looks like I need to put it together. So you know, that was another thing I was gonna show you guys. I don't got time, I don't got time. So you know, I try to put a, put, I'll put a picture, you know how it looks. Another thing that I purchased is in my car already. It's a sunglasses holder. My car never came with one, but it's okay though. I bought a um, shimmer shimmer rhinestone there we go that's the word i bought a rhinestone bedazzled sunglasses holder here's another picture of it so yeah um i'm pretty sure this is everything that i wanted to show you guys thank you so much for watching welcome back and if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit subscribe i'm going to start posting more videos we'll see <laughs> but thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in another one Bye.